Thomas Smith. We've been discussing yesterday about the visit to Bry, where Star had been examined by a doctor. Yes. It's right to say you moved into the home of Savannah Brookhill. Yes. Were you living there when police sorted that visit? I think so, yes, around that time. Did you know that Rachel Whiteley made a referral to social services? I wasn't aware. June the 21st now at hospital when Star was examined. On your telephone there was a Google search for how long can your body last without sleeping? Yes. On your phone? Yes. Now that was in relation to Star, wasn't it? I can't even remember. Well, what was it in relation to? I don't want to guess. 11.25 a.m. Google search took place. Well, then what would happen in the afternoon? There was a series of videos taken from your telephone and Savannah Brookhills of Star, your daughter, falling off a chair at Savannah Brookhills' home. Do you remember? Yes. Would you like to think again whether your search that morning had anything to do with Star? Would you like to think about that? Yes, it could be. Yes. Video of Star falling off the chair being played. That plastic substance on the floor was because the dogs were whelping. Yes, it was when they were coming in and out the garden and stuff. So this idea that the plastic sheeting was down so the children had more freedom to express themselves is not true, is it? No, that's not true. As we can see, you were at one angle to Star, weren't you? Yes, near the kitchen. Was the plan to have a chicken dinner that day with all the trimmings? Yes. This was all set up because we know Savannah Brookhill was taking videos on her phone too. She was in front of Star, wasn't she? Yes, she was on the sofa. Because she suggested it was just by chance that you all turned up to video these incidents. No, she asked me to get another angle. How did this come about? What was the plan? I'm not sure. Savannah Brookhill started filming and asked me to get another angle. Frankie Smith is being asked to speak louder and slower. Savannah Brookhill started filming and shouted me in the kitchen and asked me to get another angle. Video being played now. Star is seen wobbling on the chair and her head is nodding in and out of sleep. The camera gets a bit closer. Battering can be heard in the background. A small laugh is just not going to happen. Frankie Smith says that Savannah Brookhill talking. Star still wobbling on the chair. Can you see her looking at you? Star nearly falls off and then climbs back onto the chair. We hear that was a close one. Savannah, was that Savannah Brookhill saying, oh, close one? Yes. So this was set up, wasn't it? Yes, at this point. This was all set up. You at one angle, Savannah Brookhill at one angle. Yes, it was. Who put the chair there? I'm not sure. It wasn't me. Why was it there? Was it so the angles were good, so you could get one angle from one side and the other? I don't know why it was there. You told Star to sit on the chair. I don't know. Savannah Brookhill told us she tried four times to get Star off the chair. Is that true? I didn't see that. What was the plan? What was the purpose of all this? I think to see if she fell off or not. Why? Why? I don't know. Please, you were part of this. Why did you want to see whether she fell off or not? I don't know why. It was to get her on camera. I'm going to suggest whenever you get a tricky question you don't understand to say you don't remember. At the time, we thought it was funny. Do you think it's funny now? No. I think it was a cruel thing to do. Do you agree Star was absolutely exhausted? Yes. We do Star again to find a specific point. Do you see how she's nodding forward and just for microseconds catching herself? You moved positions, didn't you? Was that so you could get a closer view? Yes. Do you see that? Where the chair almost goes? Can you hear the laughing? Who's that? I think that was me. Who's that laughing? That's Savannah Brookhill, is it? That was Savannah Brookhill. A slightly deeper voice. Yes. Does she say it's not happening? Yes. Look at that. Did you see how Star was looking up at you to her mum? Didn't you think I'm going to pick up my little daughter, put her on my shoulder and just let her sleep? Not at the time, no. You say you loved her? I do love her. Do you see how she looked at you, looking for help? Yes. Do you see how appallingly distressing this must have been? Yes, not at the time. What were you going to do with the video? I'm not quite sure. Show it to my family. Play it back and have a laugh. Yes. We know Savannah Brookhill sent it. Did you send it to anybody? Not that I could remember. Another child watching the situation can hear them in the background of the video. Oh, that was a close one. That was Savannah Brookhill, was it? Yes. I think you accept now that's appallingly cruel, isn't it? Yes, it is. Did you have any part in adding music to the abuse? I didn't know about the music. 
didn't Savannah Brookhill show off about how good she was at editing these videos? Not to me. Was this some strange experiment to see how long you could keep Star awake for? No, it wasn't like that. Can we just remind ourselves this was June the 27th, which was six days, six days after Star had been taken to the hospital? Yes. So the fact that Star had been taken to the hospital by police and social services, that didn't act as any warning to you? No, I didn't think I was doing anything wrong. Video from two minutes later. When was Star supposed to have her nap? Was it about 1pm? Around that time. Why didn't you do what a mother should do and give her that sleep? I don't want to blame Savannah Brookhill again, but she did say she wouldn't sleep on the night time if I let her out of sleep. She if doesn't I... sleep during the night time. She doesn't sleep during the day. What's the problem? She fell off. We've seen the other video in full from Savannah Brookhill. When Star fell off, did you think that was really funny? At the time, yes. You don't need to play it because we've seen it. Do you see Star's head hit the floor? Video from Savannah Brookhill's perspective. It was what I call an uncontrolled fall, wasn't it? Do you remember the chair come on top of her and her head hit the floor? Yes. What did you do when that happened? I can't remember. I think Savannah Brookhill picked her up. Savannah Brookhill picked her up, did she? Laughing? Yes. To be fair to you, you've spoken about a knock on the table. Do you see where the top legs is? Between the plant pot as we see it, there's a drawer, isn't there, in the mirrored coffee table, or table even. Is that the knob you were speaking about, the one star hit her cheek on? Yes. You know Dr. Johnson doesn't agree with that incident. Yes. Another video now from later that day from Frankie Smith's phone. Star is on a sofa with food. Is that the chicken dinner? Did you cook it? That's on Savannah Brookhill's knee, isn't it? Yes. You are filming Savannah Brookhill, who herself is filming Star. Yes. Again, just asking at the image there. How does Star look? She looks very tired. And this is timed at 4.19pm. So there's quite a gap here. Star was kept awake all this time, getting more and more tired and exhausted. Yes. Were you tucking into your chicken dinner at this time? I'm not sure if I was eating at this point. We'll see Savannah Brookhill tucking into her dinner as the video goes on. Video continues with Star nodding off almost hitting her food. Her head eventually ends up in her bowl for a short time. And it happens over and over again. Her head eventually comes to rest in her food. That's what happens when babies don't sleep. Is that Savannah Brookhill? Yes. Do you see the time? One minute and 54 seconds that lasts for. Yes. Did either of you lift a single finger in that two minutes to help your daughter? No. Did you see how she was virtually asleep, wasn't she? Rocking about with food in her mouth, gobbing. Do you think it's awful? Yes. You knew that at the time, didn't you? No. It's not funny now, is it? It's worse than not funny. You knew then that a child who's almost asleep with food in her mouth was a risk, swallowing the food the wrong way. I didn't think that at the time. Surely you knew that, didn't you? I didn't at the time. But didn't you love your daughter not make you want to go to her? Come her, sweetheart. Put her on your shoulder. Get the food out of her mouth and let her go to sleep. I never did that, no. This was you taking photographs, videos. Yes. So we've got other videos of this, haven't we? Yes. We've seen them before. It was an awful thing to do to your daughter, wasn't it? Yes. I'm going to suggest to you that no mother or person who loves Star could have allowed her to fall into her food like that. She was just the object of your amusement and fun. No, it wasn't anything like that. You were right because you were eating your dinner as we see. Savannah broke her at least, but Star was in that condition where she had food in her mouth and was salivating. Yes. It didn't end there either, did it? Another video of Star falling asleep and shouting her waking Star. Now that's from your camera, isn't it? I don't believe that's my phone. Is that my phone? That's you shouted, isn't it? No, that's Savannah Brookhill shouting, yes. Yes, it is from Savannah Brookhill's phone, isn't it? Sorry about that, I apologise to you. That's Savannah Brookhill's, but you were there, weren't you? The judge says the video is from 3.42pm that day. Another video now, Star stood up wobbling. She said somebody's tired because somebody hasn't slept all night. Can you see the state of Star in that? She's standing, wobbling. Do you agree she's utterly exhausted again? Yes, I do. Just look at her. That's 19 seconds of her just standing there, barely able to stand. Another video. Whose legs are those in the video? I believe it's Savannah Brookhill. And there's a foot. 
I believe that's me. It was from 3.47 p.m. that day, a new image not seen before, still image of Star's head being held up on the sofa from her feet. I believe that Savannah Brookhill's arm. What was the point of her holding her head up in this way while Star was asleep? Looks like trying to get a picture of her face. Is that funny as well? At the time. Hilarious? Not hilarious. Jury asking about time gap in videos of Star falling off the chair. Is it two falls? Brown accept one fall off the chair and two almost. Do you agree with that? Yes. To July the 6th to the 7th okay. now. We could say that just to introduce this, on July the 3rd, you moved into Wesley Place, your new flat. Yes. July the 6th, you had some interactions with social workers, didn't you? Yes. They were asking for your new address. Yes. You were actively questioning social services why they needed your address when the case was closed, as you thought. Yes. You were quite capable about having an interaction with social services in that way, weren't you? Yes. June the 30th, just before you moved into your address, we have a photo, an image of Star with her mouth being held open slightly and showing the bottom of her teeth. Do you know why you were doing that? I'm not sure. You were speaking to the social services. What you say is this. Thanks, my manager spoke to Alicia last week about what you said. Were you worried about what Alicia was saying about Star? No. It's clear what was happening there. The family and Alyssa had been in touch to us that they tell you that they were always there to help you if you needed help. Did you seek help from your family at all? No. What we know is on July the 8th, social services case was closed, wasn't it? Yes. July the 10th, is that your hand with your nails? Yes, that's me. What on earth are you doing? It's on Savannah Brookhill's telephone. You were holding Star that way around her neck like that. I wasn't holding her neck, it's my hand. That was the point of this photo. Why were you holding her mouth open? Yes, I don't know why I took that. Is it you were worried you'd done some damage in her mouth? No, I hadn't. It's an odd photo, isn't it? Yes. Why were you doing it? I don't know. 